Hey everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to make a script that makes a player invisible temporarily when they step on a pad. This is a cool mechanic that can be used for sneaky sections in your games or as a power up or however else you want to use it. So let's jump right in and break it down step by step. First thing I'm going to do is insert a part into my workspace. This is going to be our invisibility pad. I'm going to anchor it and I'm going to change the color to be really red. I'm also going to rename it to be invisibility pad. Next, I'm going to insert a script into the invisibility pad. Let's name this invisibility pad script. First thing I'm going to do is get a reference to the pad itself. And then I'm going to create a variable for the invisibility duration. So we start by getting a reference to the part where the script is located, which is our pad using script.parent. This allows our script to interact with the pad itself. We also set up a variable called invisibility duration to control how long the player stays invisible. Here I've set it to five seconds, but you can tweak this value to your liking. Now let's make the player invisible. We'll create a function to loop through all the parts of the character model and set their transparency to one, making them invisible. However, we need to keep the humanoid root part excluded since it's already invisible by default. This function, make player invisible, takes in the character and loops through all of its children using get children. We're checking if each part is either a base part or a mesh part and making sure it's not the humanoid root part. If it's not the humanoid root part, we set the transparency to one to make it invisible. We also make sure to hide the face decal if the part has one. Additionally, if the character has accessories, we find their handles and set those to invisible as well. This ensures that everything on the character except the humanoid root part is hidden. After making the player invisible, we need to make them visible again after our duration ends. Here's how we do that with another function. This function is pretty much the opposite of make player invisible. We set the transparency of each relevant part back to zero, making everything visible again. We also bring back the transparency for the face and accessory handles. Now that we have our invisibility and visibility functions, we need to trigger these when the player steps on the pad. Let's connect it all together using a touched event. Here we use the onTouch function to detect when something touches the pad. Other part is the part that touches our pad and we try to get the character from it by referencing otherpart.parent. If it's a character, we check if it's a valid player using game.players colon get player from character. If it is indeed a player, we call make player invisible, which we pass our character into. Then we use task.delay to wait for our invisibility duration before calling make player visible again. This way the player stays invisible for a set amount of time before reappearing. Finally, we connect our onTouch function to the pad's touched event, making sure the script responds whenever someone steps on the pad. So that should be it for our script. Let's hit play and test it out. So if I step on the pad, I become invisible. Let's wait a few more seconds and I should become visible. There I am and everything is working as it should be. You can use this mechanic for so many interesting gameplay elements, whether you want to make secret passages, cool power-ups, or create sneaky strategies. It's really up to you how you want to use this, but if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Roblox Studio tutorials just like this one. Let me know in the comments what other mechanics you'd like to see next, and thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.